Hello and welcome to this uh, Garrettcon training presentation on how to upgrade the firmware on your uh, Garrettcon switch. It's actually a straightforward process, so what I'm going to do is walk you through it step by step. There really is nothing to it, and the whole thing from start to finish probably takes about five minutes or so. Uh, so, um, first thing we need to do is fire up the uh, web browser and go to the Garrettcon website. And, uh, Once we're here, we need to navigate to the software menu and go down to we, we automatic get sent to here, and we want to click on the 6K section. Now uh, we get given a list of uh, options based on your model number. Just select the one you need. Please pay special attention to the fact that 6K R and the 6K M are incompatible with each other and with all the other versions of the, the firmware. Um, the firmware is the same on all of the 6K models with the exception of 6K Owls and the 6KM. But if you just choose the one which is uh, listed with your model number, you should be fine. Um, we get, then get presented with a table which uh, lists all of the current versions of the firmware and the previous versions as well. Um, we have the release notes which detail any bug fixes or any uh, improvements to the software and uh, the latest manuals for the command line and the graphical user interface. Uh, we need to select uh, 4.1.11 on this occasion because that's the latest version of the firmware as of this date and we just need to save it as normal. I've already saved it but I'll save it again I guess. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, now open up uh, the TFTP server I have you can automatically, you can always use a, a FTP server if you wanted to, or an SFTP server if you have that as well. But this uh, demonstration will be using a, a TFTP server, and uh, because it's nice and easy to get hold of, and I know that you can just type in TFTP D32 into Google, and you can download this one in in next to no time. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to move the file into the uh, directory that this program looks for and we can do that by going show directory and clicking on explore and that will give us the uh, the file location where we need to put the file into and what we need to do now is we need to go to the uh, where we saved the file in this case uh, I'm using Firefox so it automatically saves it to my downloads area and I've got the file here, I've actually got two copies uh, so I'm going to copy that close it down and just paste it into the uh, the folder what this program looks for. Uh, while, I'm, while I'm here I'm actually going to click on the name and just go control C to copy the name. I like to do that that way uh, I know I get the spelling just right when I'm copying it from the switch. Then fire up the command line using a putty and uh, just uh, I can turn it into the switch using the switch IP address. And uh, what I'm going to do is type in the command TFTP, uh, then use the question mark just to get our bearings. And uh, I'll just expand this out a little bit to make it slightly larger. And uh, we can see here that we've got a number of options. For example, a TFTP get would, would grab a file from the server and pull it to the switch. A TFTP put would take the file from the switch and send it to the server. And uh, we've got various options of which different files we can grab or send. On this occasion, the one we need to look for is the application, which is the operating system or the firmware of the switch. We're going to get that, the type equals app, and we need to specify the IP address of the server where we're going to grab it from. Um, this application here, might as well close down Firefox, it's distracting us, uh, is running on my laptop. My laptop has the IP address, as we can see here, 192.168.10.100 and we need just to specify that in here. Do you remember I said that we're going to copy and paste the, uh, the file name? If you're using Putty for example you can copy, you can paste it to the command prompt. <laughs> uh, it's, um, it, also, it also pastes what you highlight as well so uh, let me just... Uh, uh, no, because I'll do that again, copy it back So the file equals if um, we just paste it in again. So I'm just going to go share directory, explore, uh, click here, copy.
copy the name, close it down. Did you notice it had a dot bin on the end? We need to add that in too, so the file extension is dot bin. Do we want to upgrade, uh, load the image? Yes we do. Downloading the image, if I just flip back to uh, the server we can see that the file has been transferred as we speak. That only takes a moment or two to run through the whole process. Um, incidentally, as I said, you can use uh, FTP if you wanted. You can even use uh, the serial connection to transfer files, but it takes a bit longer. Um, I think that TFTP is uh, the quickest and easiest way to do it. So, Once the file has been copied to the switch, it needs to uh, check that everything's uh, copied across OK. And then it says, uh, you know, it's been, uh, it's been copied successfully and we need to reboot the switch. Let's do that. Uh, always uh, save on reboot uh, normally anyway. And we need to log back into the switch. Uh, I've actually got a console connection to this switch, so I'm just going to use that now. Garrick on front left. I've got that saved for us. And we can log back in. It's still actually uh, rebooting while we're, while we're doing that. Let that com uh, complete. And then we're back at the command prompt, manager, manager, and just go show version. And we can see that the latest version of the firmware has been upgraded. And that's the whole process from start to finish. So I hope this has been interesting for you. I hope it's been helpful. And on behalf of Garrettcom, I'd like to thank you for your time. Goodbye.